Mary. Okay, geez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Dad, can we go now? Ah, Lucian. Have I introduced you to Dry Gator yet? Hey, it's that punk from Manda School. I remember you. Whatever. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. Whatever, sir. Lucian bows again. Mr. Christian, may I have a veggie burger, sir? Come right up, bud. Are you a vegetarian? Yup. Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian area were vegetarians? Scribes carnivorous types of people as blood lappers. Dad. That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the grill just to hit a tattoo. Peeks out underneath his sleeve. I can believe that I noticed it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa, is that a tattoo? Yup. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. That's so cool. Want to see mine? What? What? Lucien pulls back some rubber braces revealed a lopsided 666 in black ink. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucien! We'll talk about this later. That's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Man, Joseph's way cooler your youth pastor than I thought. I figured a youth pastor popped out of the womb with the Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Burger time! Yep, the puns. There you go. Maybe plans for the evening? Yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh, is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted. And be home before noon midnight. Yep, I was scared. Usual shit. All right, speed it through. All right, Damien. Trying to go after his hot ass. Let's do it. Hmm, indeed. Wise words. Damien seemed real interesting. A little odd. But interesting. I think I, I should hang out with him to get to know him a little better. Navigate Damien's dad book page and type a message. Hey dude, you seem cool. We should hang out sometime. I sit there for a minute before Damien's typing. But then he keeps typing. And typing. Man, is this guy writing a novel? I leave the computer to make some coffee. And he's still typing, except my coffee and the computer finally dings. Try Gator. I must confess my excitement to be 
Receiving your kind letter, for as you see, I do find myself available to, to enjoy your company. I must ask your forgiveness, however, as I believe our first meeting did not paint me in a gentlemanly manner as I would have liked. Oh, whoa, there's more. I would be highly flattered to enjoy your company ship at my residence for an afternoon tea and a stroll around my garden. Should it please you, till then adieu. Yours humbled, D. Bloodmarch. I stare at the screen and read the letter several more times. Hey, Amanda! Amanda pops up from her room, her eyes a little puffy. Hey, you all right? Suckle every water is sitting the last year ones were actually made out of plastic. Mm-hmm. Can you help me with something? Dad, for the last time, I'm not popping your back pimples. No, no, no. Can you interpret this for me? Turn to the computer and Amanda squints at Damien's message. I just don't understand net speak. Like, is this how you kids communicate with each other now? Oh, totally. This is a hot new thing. See, Dad, kids got over saying lol and LMAO and whatever decided they needed to do was to bring it back to the 1800s. So what do I do? Where's your pen and quill? What? Did you forget to unpack the pen and quill, Dad? How would we address the nobleman in regards to the upcoming Dubuntiel Ball? Okay, now I know you're messing with me. 